John Fetterman is crazier than you think. Congress shouldn't play in the stock market and take on anyone that gets in the way. As John Fetterman continues to dominate Mehmet Oz in the race for U.S. Senate in Pennsylvania, Oz is now trying everything to get back in the race. And lucky for Oz, he knows what Pennsylvanians want. Crudite and a creepy cartoon. Now, if you don't know what the hell is going on, I will get to what Oz is doing. And I'll also get to some recent polling in a second here. I'll also uh, show you at the end a very recent, as of this morning, new campaign ad from John Fetterman. That is fantastic. But first here, the polling. So this is why uh, Oz is now going weird with this campaign. So you have here the most recent poll from Fox News puts Fetterman up by 11. So a spread here in terms of the averages of point, uh, 8.7 for uh, Fetterman. And in terms of the 538 average, since they have a little more polling in this and they weigh things a little, a little differently, they show Fetterman leading here by 10.8 over Dr. Oz. So this is where we get to the first part of this weirdness. And this is Dr. Oz going grocery shopping. All right, so he is going shopping for crudite. <laughs> now, if you don't know what crudite is, you're not alone, because I didn't either, but we'll get into that. Here is Dr. Oz going grocery shopping. I thought I'd do some grocery shopping. I'm at Wegner's, and uh, my wife wants some vegetables for crudite, right? So here's a broccoli. That's two bucks. Not a ton of broccoli there. Here's some asparagus. That's $4. Yep. Carrots. That's four more dollars. That's ten dollars of vegetables there, and then we need some guacamole. That's four dollars more. And she loves salsa. Yeah, there's salsa there. Six dollars. Must be a shortage of salsa, guys. That's twenty dollars for crudite, and this doesn't include the tequila. I mean, that's outrageous. And we got Joe Biden to thank for this. All right. So a reminder here. I got a lot more coming up, including a bizarre attack ad from Dr. Oz and a great ad from from uh, John Fetterman. But I have so many questions. <laughs> First off, do you dip asparagus into salsa? Is this the thing that people do? Maybe once you hit like $100 million in your wealth, you just lose all taste and you start dipping broccoli and, and asparagus into salsa and guacamole. Seems a little weird. So he was apparently shopping for crudite. That's what he was doing, as, as Pennsylvanians do. They go out shopping for crudite. Now, of course, what the hell is crudite? <laughs> crudite is apparently a vegetable platter. This is crudite. I don't know why it's not just called a vegetable platter, but that's what it is. This is crudite, the 100 millionaire version of a veggie tray. As uh, Fetterman points out here as well, in PA, we call this a veggie tray. Um, also, as he writes here, I see for myself how expensive groceries are whenever G plus I go to Giant Eagle or Aldi's. Dr. Oz does not have a plan to bring these prices down, but I do. Strengthen supply chains plus crack down on corporate price gouging plus make more uh, shit in America. So Fetterman is actually, you know, addressing the issue here, these high costs. And of course, of course, corporate price gouging is at the heart of all a lot of this and <laughs> the GOP like, like to be fair yes both parties in terms of leadership are largely aligned with corporations but Republicans are completely aligned with massive corporations there's at least some you know fight within the Democratic Party against it the idea that Oz a, a incredibly wealthy individual that he is going to be fighting corporations who are on his side come on now so Obviously, Oz has no response to how to deal with this because he would have mentioned one maybe in the video. Also worth mentioning here, so I'm not from Pennsylvania, but apparently there is no Wegners. So Dr. Oz says, he, says he's at Wegners here. Uh, he's apparently at Redners. So there's a Redners and a Wegmans in uh, Pennsylvania. And look, it's one thing to just misspeak. People misspeak, whatever. But when you are being criticized for not living in the state... Maybe be a little more careful and at least try to get the names of the locations you are at correct. But Dr. Oz really does not care. I mean, this is just a pure vanity project for him. So 
mistakes like this are just like whatever to him. He doesn't really see a, a, an issue with not relating to anybody. But um, also, uh, <laughs> because of this, Fetterman put this out to honor Dr. Oz's love for crudite and Wegner's, and also because it's my birthday, we're launching this new limited edition sticker. Make a donation of any amount, plus it's all yours, because it's actually just a veggie tray. So, Wegner's, <laughs> let them eat crudite. So, there you go. Really a uh, fun way to work off of this really bizarre video from Dr. Oz. Also worth mentioning, broccoli is sold by the by the pound, not by the head. So, you know, he picks up the broccoli. He's like, $2. That, no, if it's a pound, maybe, but I don't know if you weighed it. Didn't seem like you did. So, he apparently, of course, you know, the idea of Dr. Oz going grocery shopping, come on. The guy is worth so much money, he has people do that for him, which is why he seems so disconnected in that video. Now, this also goes to the next video I'm going to show you from Dr. Oz, because the Senate, the uh, uh, National uh, Re Republican Senatorial Committee, they have cut money to Dr. Oz's campaign because they see how poorly he is doing. So they have cut the most money, $5 million in Pennsylvania, where quack TV Dr. Mehmet Oz is taking on Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman. Oz's campaign has been fraught, to say the least, and current polling averages currently have him losing to the Democrat by more than 10 percentage points. So because of how poorly Oz is doing, now to be clear, the NRSC is pulling a lot of money from, or pulling money from four different states, but they are pulling the most from Pennsylvania because they see this at, at this point as... Maybe a waste of time <laughs> if Fetterman can't even, or sorry, if Oz can't even get the name of these grocery stores uh, correct. Now let's get to this very bizarre ad from Dr. Oz. So this is an attack ad on Fetterman, and I will get to whatever the hell this is. Now that John Fetterman claims to be recovering, let's pull back his hoodie and examine what's in his head. Looks like he has some screws loose. What's this? <coughs> Fetterman wants to release one-third of all prisoners. That's crazy! Spend more tax dollars, everything will cost more. That's nuts. Slow energy production, gas prices will skyrocket. That's ridiculous. Socialized medicine? Where do you get these crazy ideas? Now it makes sense. Better close it up. John Fetterman is crazier than you think. That was one of the worst <laughs> campaign ads that I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because I think Mehmet Oz is a clown, but because this campaign ad, it in some ways you could argue helps John Fetterman. So look, let's go over some of this stuff because th this is so weird. So they start off by showing a, a, a bong come out of his head. There's a, a bong being released from his head. Um, has Dr. Oz taken a look at any poll? Support for marijuana legalization has been a majority in support for years now, including in uh, Pennsylvania. So even Politico has an article here saying Fetterman's not so secret weapon, weed legalization. So even for people that, that don't care about the issue, they're not offended by it, but the benefit is it brings people out to vote. People that wouldn't normally vote, that support weed legalization, they will come out to vote for a candidate who supports it. So to openly and like showcase how Fetterman, uh, you know, has a bong in his head, <laughs> like this only helps him. On top of that, you have, um, you know, the, the lie here about Fetterman wants to release one third of prisoners. You know, part of that is that Fetterman doesn't want people in jail for nonviolent offenses like uh, marijuana use, but that quote isn't even from him. So of course, you know, another lie from uh, Oz here. So this is from PolitiFact. Fetterman has touted work to increase the number of pardons issued to prison inmates in Pennsylvania and has called for reducing the prison population in other ways. But we did not find an instance of Fetterman calling for the release of one-third of dangerous criminals. In 2020, Fetterman twice highlighted what he said was a comment by Pennsylvania's then-correction secretary that the state could reduce its prison population by one-third without risking public safety. So even if this was a Fetterman quote, which it isn't, he's quoting somebody else, but even if this was his plan, 
This is about ensuring that people who are who don't belong in prison aren't in prison. People who people who are nonviolent, who are there for you know minor drug offenses, why keep them there and have a this this extra burden on on the system on taxpayers when they shouldn't be there and can go back to their families. So Dr. Oz, I mean, the, the way to actually frame this is that Dr. Oz wants to keep people in jail who don't belong there. And he's openly advertising this. And then another point here, uh, he brings up how Fetterman supports uh, free health care for everyone. Yes, no one wants that. People love going bankrupt over health care costs. Great job, Dr. Oz. This is how stupid this campaign is. No wonder, no wonder the uh, Republican Party is pulling money from the campaign. But look, Pennsylvanian residents struggle uh, to afford high health care costs, support a range of government solutions across party lines. That same year, 2018, a poll was done. Majority of Pennsylvanians support Medicare for all health care. So again, F uh, Oz has no actual connection to people in Pennsylvania. He really does not know anything. This is a guy who just purely watches Fox News. He just watches, in, not even just Fox News, cable news is, is, is generally against Medicare for all. This is a guy who just absorbs cable news and doesn't understand what people actually need and want. He thinks you love to go bankrupt over paying for health care. Very, very bizarre. But I'm not complaining. If it's going to help Fetterman, whatever. Let's get now to uh, the last video here. This is Fetterman's new campaign ad. Just to show you the stark difference between this complete disaster of whatever the hell this is to a great campaign ad here from John Fetterman. I'm John Fetterman and I approve this message. The truth is our economy is a mess because of Washington. The rich, powerful, the insiders and the lobbyists, they're lying about me to take the heat off themselves. It's Washington's fault. They set the rules, weakened our supply chain, and spiked inflation. But we can fix our economy. We must make more stuff in America. Cut taxes for working families. Congress shouldn't play in the stock market and take on anyone that gets in the way. That's what I believe in. So while Dr. Oz is busy with weird distractions, floating bongs, uh, free health care is bad, <laughs> has no solutions, John Fetterman not only criticizes Oz on a regular basis, you know, completely clowns him, but Fetterman also has very specific, a very specific critique of the system and very specific policies that he supports and advertises. This ad is fantastic, not only because the ad itself is well done, but also because Fetterman himself is a great candidate. He's a unique Democrat. There are very few, if any, Democrats in the Senate that are like him. So... This is someone actually willing to stand up to power. And it's worth pointing out here, in case you didn't know or didn't follow this race earlier, Fetterman beat a the Democratic establishment-backed candidate, Connor Lamb. So Connor Lamb was, you know, the, the Democratic leadership's guy for a while until they realized he was not going to win the race. <laughs> so, but look, Fetterman destroyed him, 58.6 to 26.3. Not even close. So... Connor Lamb was much like, you know, your typical standard corporate Democrat and Pennsylvanians realized, yeah, we don't want any more of that garbage. We want someone who's actually real. And they backed Fetterman in a big way. And it shows you this is the kind of message that Democrats need to have moving forward. And to have that message, they also need to be willing to hold truth to power, to criticize massive corporations and be on the side of the working class. Fetterman is doing that. So to be successful, to keep winning, you have to do that. And, and to be clear, this is not, I think a lot, of, a lot of Democrats in power know this, but they are fighting it because they have power because of the corporations that back them. But in terms of, you know, people realizing what to do, pay attention in primaries. This is where the, the real battles are won. When you have an option like this in Fetterman over a Connor Lamb, make sure you go out and vote and do it. And in this case, Pennsylvanians did. And they hopefully will have a fantastic uh, senator at the end of this. But, man, the differences here between Oz and Fetterman are just so, so very clear. You have a hun super hundred millionaire in Oz who is so disconnected from out of state, making crudite, <laughs> a fancy veggie tray, and, you know, releasing ads about just 
you know, attacking Fetterman over popular policies. And then you have Fetterman actually delivering some real substance. The choice is clear.